channel uh, today we are going to discuss uh, how can we generate like an auto incrementing value based on some conditions uh, in a table uh, in an excel sheet or a google sheet and uh, this is specifically can be of uh, quite a bit of use when you want to create like a unique identifier for a particular row uh, uh, especially if you have worked in databases uh, you would know that it is important to have a primary key which is going to uniquely identify that particular row in a database which can be used to impose a lot of rules in the database or create, do a lot of operations based on it a lot of slicing dicing so on and so forth uh, here we have uh, google sheets uh, or you can use excel as well it's pretty much the same uh, and yeah it's a powerful tool in itself and uh, yeah let's see how we can do this uh, here so here we have uh, i have a uh, three fields uh, i've just named uh, one is id name and department let me zoom in a little bit yeah so let us first give some random values to the name and department as well however department doesn't really matter here yeah so now what we want to do is uh, we want uh, to assign a value first on based on the condition that the column b value is not null so let us start with that if this value b2 is not null then you can see uh, in so if the value is true now we want to specify our true condition so in this we have two scenarios so one is the number above uh, so let us start another if condition and if the number above is a number Then what we want to do is we just want to increment that value by one otherwise let us assign it a new value and let us say we want to start our uh, employee ID by 1001 so what this is doing here is so this is going to check this condition if the above one is a number then it is going to auto increment it by one otherwise it is going to assign it a new value of 1001 this concludes our second condition and if b2 is null then we want our b1 to be null as well so that's our false value let us see yeah now what we want to do is just drag this formula down oh i'm sorry yeah so if we just add a value here it is going to auto assign it a, a unique id which is auto implementing if at all if if uh, by chance you break it and if you assign a value here then it is going to start again so what you want to do is you want to delete any empty rows in between and then hit the formula again so yeah i think you'll have to drag the formula down again so Yeah, so that should do it for you. And if any of the values are null, then it will keep showing you null. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope this solves your doubt. And please stay tuned for more videos and more uh, technical stuff around Excel, SQL. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me in comments. Uh, and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, and like the, and uh, hit like on the like button. Thank you and you have a good day.